Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can increase the spawns and the number of tents that appear on your DAISY private custom community server. We're going to be looking at the car tent, we're going to be looking at the large tent, the medium tent and the canopy tent because tents are an essential part of the base building process I think for, for, for most people. You know when you've got a big tent or even a little tent you know it's the start of something um, that could become quite beautiful as you, you make it bigger. So without further ado, I'm using Nitrado as an example here because we need to get hold of and we need to adjust the types.xml file. Um, some people you'll be accessing your DAISY server via FTP or you'll be using an alternative uh, server provider, but it's probably similar in the fact that there'll be some sort of web interface like here with Nitrado that you click on that will take you into the server dashboard. So this is a PlayStation server. And then on Nitrado, we're looking down here in the bottom left hand corner for the file browser that you can see just there. So we click on that. This now then takes me into the file structure of the server. Now this is a PlayStation 4 server, so it takes us straight into the, the missions folder we can see there. If you're on Xbox, it will be similar. If you're on PC, you need to dig down through the file structure a little for a couple of times, I think, before you'll get to the missions. But then you click on the missions folder. And then you'll either see something like this that will say Chernerus Plus, or it might say Enoch. Enoch means it's uh, Livonia. Um, or it might say both. It might say Chernerus Plus and Enoch. And just click on the one that the server is currently running. So this server is running Chernerus, so I'll click on Chernerus Plus. And then we're going deeper, so now we need to click on the DB or the database folder. So we click on that one. And then we're after the types.xml file so we click on this one here the one that says download so click on that and download the types.xml file now when, once you've downloaded it make a copy of it so that if you make a mistake and you can't recover the mistake you've still got the original file to go back to and start over again and then we need to open the types.xml now it's a uh, text file so you can open it up in notepad if you wanted to or you could do it actually on the web um, using the uh, text editor on Nitrado, for example. However, I recommend you open it up in a program called Notepad++. This is a free-to-use, powerful text editor that does lots of other things, but the main one that becomes useful when you're editing your DAISY XML files is it color code stuff. So if you make a mistake and you accidentally delete, say, one of these brackets, um, you'll be able to identify it a lot quicker. So all we got to do to change the tense, we're just going to Control f Wherever it is to find stuff, and we're going to put tent in. I'm just going to press enter. So straight away, jumps down to the first tent, which is the car tent. So as we can see, the nominal value is 10. So on a vanilla server, as of October 2020, you should be there should be 10 packed tents around. If we go down as well, we can see that the um, the, the loot economy counts tents in cargo on the map and when players have them as well. So if somebody stored a car tent somewhere, the, the game will count that towards the 10. And if a player's got one on him um, in his backpack or, or I guess carrying it with a car tent, um, it'll count that towards the 10 as well. So the first thing we want to do is if we want to make more tents available, look, let's just let's double it to 20. Let's have 20 car tents hanging around. Let's take the minimum up to 15. The minimum is the point at which car tent spawning back in. And I'll tell you what we can do. Let's change the in cargo to, to zero and the in player to zero, these two flags here. So the game will only count tents that appear on the map. Now this means... That, <laughs> um, um, it means that once people build them, I, th I think it counts a, a, a built tent as one of those tents. So you should, in theory still only have 20 unless it counts built one doesn't count built ones but anyway 20 car tents that's quite that's quite a lot of car tents now let's see where you can find them so a tent is uh, categorized as a container as you'd expect however you'll only find them in industrial areas now all the items in day z have a category tag well most of them have a category tag that uh, tells you what type of item it is but then they have a location tag tells the game where to spawn it in and the car tents are only industrial areas so one of the things you maybe could do if you wanted to make it a little bit easier to find car tents 
what we could do is we could put them somewhere else. So the question is, where else might you find a car tent? Um, you might find them in towns, might you? What do you reckon? So, so there's the town. So what we could do, if we wanted to make it easy to find stuff, we could copy usage industrial. We could copy that. And we could paste that in there. We could change that to town. There we go. So now car tents are going to spawn in industrial areas and in town areas as well. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? So let's control F tent. Let's find the next one. So the next one is the large tent. Again, there's only 10 of these uh, on the map total. So, you know, let's double it. Let's really treat the players on our server. Let's move the minimum up to 15. And again, let's get rid of in cargo zero, in player zero. Like that. Um, now, large tents are only found in military areas. So, again, to make it a little bit easier for people to find them, why don't we add another thing? Why don't we actually put them in military areas and industrial areas? How about that? So we've added another place. So we've doubled the number of tents, but we've spread them out in terms of they're going to spawn in different places. Now remember, as we're adding sort of 10 tents at a time to our uh, type of XML, we should be taking stuff away. So we should be looking at things like, like the skater helmets or the construction helmets or the dress shoes or the um, cropped hiking pants and taking them out. So we're kind of balancing the server because you don't just want to be adding stuff, adding stuff and adding stuff. But as you can see with tents, there's not that much stuff. There's not that many of them. Right, let's find the next one. So the medium tent. So the med it always makes me kind of, the medium tent is actually pretty small because there isn't a small tent, is there? <laughs> <laughs> what they, what we're getting in 1.10 though, and you probably already got this by the time you watch the video, is we are getting, um, you can build kind of temporary structures made out of sticks and um, cloth, I think it's got, and, and tarpaulins that are kind of like tents as well. But they won't spawn in on the map, you'll have to, you'll have to make them, but that, that's the medium tent. So again, there's 10 medium tents, so let's double them. Let's change that minimum up there let's get rid of the cargo i see the cargo i'm thinking about this now that cargo might mean when it is made up it could mean that so it couldn't it could there could be the strange thing with tents is when they're actually constructed their clusters being in storage maybe something like that but let, let's change it to zero anyway so we're going to have plenty more tents for people to use now medium tents they spawn in town and village. So let's add another one. And let us copy that. And I'm thinking hunting. What do you think? You know, I think you would find you know, hunters would use small tents, wouldn't they? So let, let's use hunting for this one as well as the extra place to find it. Hunting. There we go. Now, as we scroll down, what you can see is the all right, the medium tent green and the medium tent orange. All right, so the medium tent green is found in hunting places, and the medium tent orange is found in towns and villages. So I think you know what we'll do is we'll just let's just increase these like this. Let's do that. Old counting hoarder as well. These are in as well. So let's just have them as counting map. Like so. Right, that'll do. We'll leave that as it is. We'll make. I tell you what, we'll leave that. We'll leave the orange ones as a rare tent to find. You know. Okay. So on to the next one. Is the party tent now? The party tents come in normal blue, brown. And Luna Park variants at the moment. So again, to to improve these, you know, we would say, okay, let's um, move that one up to say 30. 
let's move the minimum up to uh, 25. Let's get rid of that so we just count it in the map. Remember, don't get rid of the, the counting map. You've always got to have that one on. You've got to have something on. Because if you don't, these things will just spawn and spawn and spawn and spawn everywhere. They'll take over like tribbles. And we'll leave them spawning in towns. The party tent brown in towns. And the party tent lunar park only spawns in lunar parks, which are the uh, those little... Um, um, what do you call them? Those little fairs that you see in or around. Now, once you're happy with that, you want to save that. And I always recommend people go on go on over to somewhere like xmlvalidation.com, where you can upload your types.xml file or any of your XML files, and it'll just tell you if there's any errors, like with your closing and opening brackets and things like that. Now, the what in your uh, spawnable types specifically file there is an error that shows up that's a false positive which has to do with the um, notes um, the descriptions I think it's the army one so you can ignore generally ignore the ones that are in descriptions Bohemian Interactive puts too many hyphens in but if it's in anything else you know sort it out and make sure it's okay and once you're happy go back to your uh, server and you stop your server so click stop upload the the, uh, the type that XML file and then restart your server and then your new tents will start to spawn in so there we go that is how you add more tents and make them easier to find by changing the location tags too okay so hopefully that was useful if it was hit that like button if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and I'll see you again soon